everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Sean, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I make iron-on patches using my brother PE535 embroidery machine. So before I take you guys over to the machine, I just wanna go over some supplies that I have here that you'll need. And I'll also make sure to link all of these supplies down in the description box. And if you have any questions, as always, definitely reach out to me, I'll be happy to answer. So first off, you're going to need some felt or duck fabric. Now I did purchase this particular uh, felt from Joann's and I also purchased these sheets, felt sheets, and I got these from Amazon. And so they come in a lot of different colors, which I thought would be fun, but, and actually today I'm gonna use uh, the purple one, but you'll need either uh, felt or duck fabric to make your iron on patches, okay? And then I also have this heat and bond. I have the ultra hold. Now, if you're gonna be making, say, sew on patches, then you won't even need this. But if you plan on making iron on patches, you're gonna need the heat and bond and you want the ultra hold. They have, um, I think it's a light hold and an ultra hold. Make sure you get this. You can get this larger roll from Amazon. You can get this from Michaels and Joann's, but I did compare the prices and it is actually cheaper for this roll on Amazon. And this will be linked below. Um, you will need scissors. Um, I just have a regular pair of scissors here, as well as some applique scissors. And these just have a nice little curve for when you have patches or designs that have like little details or corners that you really need to get into, these really come in handy. So these are applique scissors and I just have a regular pair of scissors. Um, you also need whatever color thread you're gonna be using or if you're gonna be making a multicolor patch, you'll need each of those colors. And then your embroidery design. I have mine already saved onto my flash drive that this I'm gonna actually plug into my machine so we can select the image that we're going to embroider. So um, I'll go over any other th things or accessories that you might need as we go, but I'm gonna go ahead and take you over to the machine so we can get started with this patch. Hey guys, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and get my fabric onto my hoop. This is the four by four hoop that comes with the machine. And the way that you know that you're putting everything together, there is two arrows right here at the top and they should line up. So that way you know you're, you have your hoop, you're putting everything the correct way. And one thing I did forget to mention is that you will need some stabilizer. So I got this also from Amazon. Um, they sell this at Joann's and Michael's, maybe even Hobby Lobby. And um, this here is just so your felt or your fabric, whatever it is that you're using, has some stability so as far as when the machine is embroidering and uh, these are there's 250 sheets in here and so what you will want to do is have your piece of stabilizer and then you will put your fabric on top like so and then you're going to make sure your hoop is loose at the bottom and then you wanna just lay it on there. And I like to leave a little bit of fabric allowance at the top and the bottom, just in case I need to move anything around as far as um, before I tighten up my hoop. So if I need to pull my fabric or adjust anything, Okay, so we have that in there pretty good. And so now I'm gonna start tightening up the bottom and you're just gonna twist here. If you need to make, move your fabric, if you see like any type of buckling in the fabric or anything like that, you just wanna pull the sides and that way you wanna make sure everything is smooth. And so everything is looking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep tightening it up. And it'll sound almost like a drum. You wanna make sure it is very stiff. And I'm actually moving mine just a little bit, just so it's a little bit tighter. 
and then finish tightening my hoop up. All right, and that is what we want. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and connect this and to the embroidery machine and show you all the next steps. Okay, guys, so I actually changed my um, patch that I wanted to cut. So I switched out the felt from the purple to black. And then I'm going to put the thread in here. Sorry if my hand's in the way so you can't see how to thread, but it's really simple. This machine is actually easier to thread than my sewing machine. And so then I'm going to just put that through there. And yes, this does have a um, automatic threader, but um, I'm just so used to doing it like this. And it takes about the same amount of time. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this little button here to pull up my flash drive. And then here is the image that I want. And then it just is going to show you here on the screen. And then, okay, so I'm gonna hit in edit. And then again, if you want to see um, where your design will embroider, you'll just go here and you'll click this here and your hoop will move and it'll show you the area where it's going to embroider. All right, so we're good to go there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay and embroider and here is going to show you all the colors that you're going to need and the first color is going to take three minutes the next color is going to take three minutes four minutes and then seven minutes for a total of 17 minutes and 6655 stitches overall so i'm not going to use these exact colors but um, I'm actually going to switch this one out here once I get to there. But I'm going to use the same thread for these two, and then I'll switch out these two colors. So I'm going to go ahead and let my presser foot down. Once it goes from green to red, when it's red, it won't do anything. Once it goes to green, that means it's ready to embroider. So I have my thread ready to go, machine's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start and let that go. And then I'll be back once we get closer to the end. Okay, so the first thread is complete. So I went ahead and cut the thread and then I'm gonna go on to the next color and so i'm gonna put this one in this pink here and same steps i'm gonna go ahead and loop that around and go down back up back down And then just thread that through. I guess this is why I should use the needle thread or the <laughs> thread or um, automatic threader. But um, hey, it is what it is. I'll get it in here sooner or later, but I'll speed past this part. Oh, never mind, no need to speed past. I got it. So I'm gonna just put the down in there. All right, 
and so now I have that next color threaded and then I'll go ahead and put that down and start on the next color and then I'll be back to switch out the third color. All right, she's all done. And as you can see, it'll let you know that it is finished embroidering. And you just hit OK. And then it already cut my thread for me. So then I just press, well, lift my presser foot. Just press that back there. And I will meet you back over at the table. All right. So let me just grab my scissors from the machine. And first thing, I'm gonna go ahead and untighten my hoop here. All right. And set that off to the side. So this is how my design turned out. That is the back, that is the front. So what I'm going to do first is get these stitches cleaned up and I'll clean this up and I'll be right back. All right, so I got my patch cleaned up. That's what the back is looking like. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut around the patch and I am going to leave some of this on here for now. So what I like to do, um, I want to go ahead and measure And I like to go ahead and put my adhesive on before I cut around my patch. So I'm just kind of cutting it down to where I'll need it. And then once that I get that here, then I will go ahead and cut out the patch. That way, once after I cut it out, I'm not trying to cut out a piece of adhesive that may be too big or some of the glue may get stuck to maybe my Teflon sheet or my parchment paper. So this way, I can go ahead and make sure the patch is fully covered how I want it before I start to cut out around the patch. So I'm going to go ahead, take this to the heat press. I will have a piece of Teflon sheet down and then I'll place my patch face down with the rough side. So this adhesive has a smooth side as well as a rough side. This is the side, the rough side, you want to go against your patch. And then this paper backing, once the adhesive is attached to the patch, then you, that's what you will pull back and then press onto your garment. So remember, it's going to be rough side down against your patch, and then you're going to press this. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and my adhesive is attached to my patch now. So I am going to go ahead and start cutting this out, and I am going to get very close, as close as possible, without cutting my thread, of course. So just take your time. You don't wanna cut your threads and have to start all over. And this is actually a really simple patch.
so this is the fray check that you could use and you would just it has a little spout and you would actually just put it around before you cut you would need to do it before you cut and then you would give it about a few minutes and once it dries then you can go in and go ahead and cut And that is the one thing I love about these scissors. They really get into those hard to get places. All right, and that is how she turned out. She's all ready to press, and then it's just a couple other ones that I made. This one's the applique patch, so I used some fabric, and then the rest was stitching. So this one turned out really nice as well. So yeah, that is the Brother PE535. You can do multicolor patches or embroider multicolors you just have to switch out your threads which your machine will stop threading and it will let you know when it's time to change your threads so that's something that you don't have to worry about but you do have to keep switching out your threads versus the multi-needle the eight needle and the 16 needle machines that you know they just go ahead and do all the work so this patch, this one here took me, um, I want to say 17 minutes to complete. And then like this one was probably about a nine minute patch. And this one took about 20 minutes just because of the details and the multicolor. But overall, I do really like this machine. If you have any questions or want me to go into more detail or do another tutorial, please let me know um, as far as maybe if you want me to go over how to do applique patches using the fabric and then having the stitching on there i'll definitely be happy to do that so thank you all for watching i will see you all next time and i will have these products linked down in the description box if you have any questions just let me know see you guys later